This video will show you how to do all subsets regression in R. The data set we're going to be working with are data from Peregrine Falcons. We have four variables as a part of this data set. We have the wingspan of the falcon, in, measured in centimeters. We have the weight of the falcon, measured in grams. The length of the tail of the falcon, measured in centimeters. And the sex of the falcon, whether or not it's a female or a male. So we're going to enter the peregrine falcon data for um, these 20 observations. Uh, and so I'll just enter them as vectors here. And you can see it entered um, all the values for those peregrine falcons. And the next thing we want to do is we want to gather all of the data into an R data frame. So we'll call this data set falcon. And we'll use the data.frame function um, to bring together all of these variables. So we'll hit run. And so I look and I can see the Falcon data set is here. I can click on the spreadsheet tool to open and look at the data. And here are my four variables uh, for my 20 observations of Falcons. And so what we want to do here is we want to fit an all subsets regression. That means um, we're going to be interested in the wingspan of the Falcon and using a model to predict the wingspan of that Falcon using these three variables. But some of those variables, those three variables, might not be meaningful in terms of predicting the wingspan. Um, and so we want to perform a pretty complex regression. And we want to look at all possible regressions or all subsets of regressions that are possible with the three variables that we have. To do this, we need to use a package that's found in R. And we need to install this package. Um, and this is called the leaps package. And so what we can do is we can um, run the install.packages and call leaps, and that will install that package. Now, as it turns out, I already have the leaps package installed on my computer. So I'm just going to put a hashtag in front of that um, so that will not run the code. If this is your first time using the leaps package, you will need to run the install.packages line. So after we install it, we need to tell R we want to use that package. And so our next line will be library leaps. So let's load the leaps package, uh, and we'll use the library function to do that. And so I hit run. So now I can scroll down. Now R knows what functions I want to use. Um, so we're going to use the um, reg subsets function um, to select all possible predictors and run all possible model combinations. So I'm going to call this falcon.leaps is going to be my um, object that stores my um, subsets of regression. I'm going to use the reg subsets function. And here, my dependent variable is wingspan. And I'm just going to add all of those possible predictor variables that I'm interested in. The weight of the falcon, the tail length of the falcon, and the sex of the falcon. And in this case, I want to keep the, the sex of the falcon as a 1 for a female or a 0 for a male. So I just want to keep that as um, a factor variable. And I'm going to use the uh, data equals falcon data set. So I can run that. And you can see it ran some output. But now I want to see, well, what did it actually um, accomplish? Uh, and so one of the things that we can look at when we run these regression subsets is we can plot the R squared and the adjusted R squared values for all of those subsets. So if you think about if we ran regression with three different variables, we'd have lots of different combinations. We could use just one of those variables. We could use two of those variables. Um, or we could use all three of those variables. And so what we're really searching for is the best model that's a part um, of that the best model that predicts wingspan of falcons. And so we can use the plot function, um, calling our, uh, our object that we made that stores all those regression subsets. And we're going to the scale. The value that we want to see is the adjusted r squared. So we'll abbreviate that ADJ r2 for adjusted r squared. So I'm going to run that line of code. And you should see a um, a plot open up here. And so let's open this up here. What you're seeing in each row is different um, model that's being predicted by using different variables in 
the regressions. And so what we see here on the top, this is adjusted um, or ranked by the adjusted R squared value. And so if we were really looking to find out the best model, we would select the model that has the highest adjusted R squared. And so when we look at that model, what you see in black or in the dark um, areas is which variables it's selecting. And so in this case, the model that selects an adjusted R squared of 0 0.91 includes an intercept, the weight of the falcon, and the sex of the falcon. So it does not include the tail of the falcon. Anything that's white uh, would not be included. Now, as it turns out, the second model that it selects includes all variables, the weight, the tail, and the sex of the falcon. So we could use that model, but if we're getting a better adjusted R squared with fewer variables, in this case, just two variables instead of three variables, uh, then we might favor uh, the one with the highest R squared uh, that gives us um, the fewest number of variables to use. As it turns out, the model that ranks third is one that just uses the weight of the falcon along with the intercept. And so we can use plots like these to help us select, if we have a large number of variables, which variables are the best ones to use in regression.